physical manifestation of the consciousness of the people. The closing stages of the last century, and with it the birth of the global village, saw the rise of a new kind of movement, anti-corporate activism. Its participants bent upon exposing and subverting the history of marketing and the power of branding and the logo. Now, more than ever, their voices must be heard. We were contacted by one such activist, Peter Tufnell, who offered us an insight into his methods and his beliefs. We begin our study as Peter makes his final preparations for an anti-corporate rally. Peter, can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing there? Yeah, um, these are for the protest tomorrow. And what is it that you're protesting? Well, the main one's globalisation, you know, corporations, but uh, there'll be other things there to object to. My flatmates. We were supposed to be here hours ago. Oh, so, oh sorry we were, um... Consuming. <laughs> Very funny. I made these for you. Oh. We don't want to go. What? You, you've got to. Everyone's going. You've got to stop globalisation. Yeah, but do we have to stop it tomorrow? Those of us who care do. Yeah, I've got to work. I see. Well, those of us who don't have to work are going to block off the stock exchange at 7am and then after that we're marching through the city showing them we're not going to take it anymore. Now, are you coming or not? Oh, there's going to be so many people. Yes, and either you're with us or you're not with us. I can't believe you people. This is for the world. Guess I'm just going to have to fix it by myself. Peter? Peter, they're here. Oh, just, just go in. Thank you. Hi, it's me. Yeah, um, I, I, I can't find the protest. Yeah, yeah, can you just, could you just check on the flyer on the fridge and um, tell me where they're going to be at around about, around about uh, 12 o'clock? Yeah, okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on, no, I'll just follow the helicopters. You there? You there? Globalisation has been appropriated by advertisers and corporate hats. Their actions sanctioned by governments and felons. A true globalisation involves the willing recognition and acceptance of other cultures, a sharing of information and Could a sharing just, of wealth. Uh... True globalisation must be informed by the desire for freedom and equality uh, for all. Globalisation is about governments and their corporate overlords and habits. It's about profit, restrictions and denial. 
It is about imposing one system of government yeah. upon another, reducing individual rights and freedoms, and enforcing a single greedy culture with a ledger at its heart. Globalisation by their hand means placing less value on a human life than on a drug patent. Caring less for the environment than for an oil rig. Less for a young factory worker than the shoes that she makes. Globalisation by their hand means caring more about trade than truth. Yeah. Woo. Woo. And certainly by this definition we are anti-globalisation. But I ask our critics to think very carefully on It's a good protest. What it should mean and what it has come to mean. And yeah, I've been to a few of these now. Yeah, M1, S11, all of those. All right, so I guess that was uh, you with the placard. Huh? What about reconciliation? What? Have you marched for reconciliation? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, I have. Five times. Yeah, well, uh, I marched for Reclaim the Night. Everyone's marched for Reclaim the Night. <laughs> You going to the WTO in Canada? They already got punched at the WTO in Italy. Well, I've, I've done gay rights, women's rights and refugees. Well, I'm anti-uranium mining, pro-fair wear and against Nike. I boycott Shell, Nestle and Gap. I campaigned for Nelson Mandela, Mumia Abu-Jamal and Unsung Suu Kyi. Stop sand mining Stradbroke, ban battery hens, cancel third world debt, human need, not corporate greed and let the fucking Franklin flow. Nice sign. What? Doesn't everybody like us? Did we not deliver unto them the cheeseburger? you can see the percentage changes in textile and clothing industry from 1980 to 1999. Now consider them in context. Can I ask you guys to have a good think before buying a t-shirt that says buy nothing day? You got everything you need? Yes, I think so. I'll make a move, eh? So, how do you feel? I feel great. It was great. And what are your thoughts on the day? Well, it, it felt great. Uh, really good spirit, you know. It's so good to see so many people coming together and, and uh, trying to make a change. And you can feel it, you know. You can, you can feel that we're, we're really shaking them up, you know. Yeah, they're scared. They're scared. And there you have it. Peter Tufnell the voice of a new generation.